Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Brain Chronicles. Today we have another tool video. It's a some sort of a ratchet video, not the usual ratchet wrench video that we do here a lot, but uh this is another type of ratchet. But before we jump into it, if you find these videos helpful or informative, could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, today we have a Yankee Handyman number 133H it says North Brothers Manufacturing Co. Division of Stanley Tools, Philadelphia, PA, made in USA. Okay, like back in the day, uh, this was what was considered a cordless automatic drill. Uh, before, you know, the modern proliferation of all these battery operated drills and screwdrivers the back then they didn't have all that so this was pretty much it unless you had an electric drill or screwdriver attachment for the drill but those were corded and this these didn't need a cord because uh, they were ratcheting action so and this needs a little bit of oil but uh, if you put it, the switch all the way down it loosens and if you put the switch all the way up it tightens and if you put it in the middle in the middle position there then it doesn't loosen or tighten it just functions like a regular screwdriver it's pretty much solid so uh, these uh, have interchangeable bits so you can have a bit for a flathead or a Phillips or some drill bits I've seen before and to take these out you push you push this down like that and you lift up but not so hard that it flies again oh, across the room let me uh, pick that up okay okay here are the bits and you see they have a cutout in the middle that's because there's a bar when you uh, push this down like that the bar retracts and allows the bit to be removed and what keeps it from spinning is that there's a cutout at the bottom of the bit that's like a, a half cut out there half of the tip is like cut out and that keeps it from just spinning okay uh, to tear this down uh, right off the bat let me just tell you I think that this part here is permanently set I think it looks like it's been peened over here at the tip so we're going to have to look elsewhere to tear this down. So the next thing we look at is this narrowed uh, screw here. And we loosen that. And let me tell you, I've taken this apart already so everything is loose. When you're first uh, going to take this apart, you're probably going to have to uh, get like a small channel lock or, or pliers or something and, and clamp on to this part here and loosen it because it's probably going to be tight okay you get this screw part out now you pull up and you see that little notch there that keeps the this ring part here the switch part it keeps it from spinning and you pull it out a little bit and you have to get over the switch so you you push the switch down like that and then you just slide it off and there's some pieces fell okay this is the switch this is what it looks like is like a little spring a little brass or copper spring at the bottom and this piece should be 
in here. Oh boy, everything's just falling out. that there okay at the bottom here you're gonna see that there's like a little piece that helps separate the poles I think that's what they're called these two uh, these two spinning uh, brass pieces and I think they're the poles and this comes out and you might have to this one came out pretty easy let me get a here and it just slides out like that and that's what that looks like it just separates those two poles and we look here up above actually I think these are the poles here these little these little stoppers they stop uh, when you switch I guess they stop one side or the other ones from spinning and this is what they look like and these brass parts they're the gears here's the other pole and they're set in like that one the the top one here is you put it in like that and the bottom one here you put it in with this this little piece here facing up on the left hand side and this one's facing down on the right hand side okay now let me get a, a screwdriver now we have to take out this screw at the bottom of the handle. Okay. And hold it down a little bit because there's a spring underneath this. That's the spring that makes this go in and out. So there, there's what the, the screw on cap looks like. And here's the spring it's kind of a thin spring it has a wooden a wooden stopper at the end there okay and now this handle it pulls off it's a wooden handle sometimes you will see these and they'll have a plastic handle and they'll have a compartment in the handle for extra bits and stuff. This one doesn't have that. This one is just a regular wooden handle. But this pulls off. Yeah, just give it some a little pressure and it'll give eventually, hopefully. And there we go. And this is the wooden handle. Okay, to take out all this stuff and the shaft, there's you're gonna have to put this kind of back together like that and get the shaft and screw it back on also. Like that. Okay, you're going to see there's a hole here where you took the handle off. And there is the shaft and there's a collet ring that holds holds it in place so it won't come out. It won't come out this way. So that ring there needs to be removed. And this is kind of the hard part of it all. Uh, to remove that ring is soft metal. And I removed it already, so it's you can see it's pretty loose in there. And that's probably why I was giving trouble going in and out with the shaft. 
it's pretty loose it's probably binding a little bit but um, to get that out you're gonna need stick a little screwdriver in there then take a piece of needle nose plier and try to open it up little by little and then probably use one of these needle nose to grab onto it and try to uh, get it out of there or coax it to get out but eventually you'll be able to get it uh, and one of these might help also to like uh, when it's almost ready to come out to pry it out a little bit so uh, yeah that's what gives most of the trouble here so I'm gonna I don't want to spend a lot of time with this video like I don't want to stretch it out to like 20 minutes or more so I'm just gonna cut away right now and I'm gonna be back when I get that out of there okay so I'm back uh, this is what was in there holding the shaft so it won't come out is this little ring this little not a snap ring it's kind of it's soft metal so it bends easy so it shouldn't be hard to get back in there and and bend it bending wise it's not hard to uh to you know to cajole out of there but it's a little tricky because it's tight space in there so it might take you a little time but that's that and now unscrew that back take this out and now the whole thing comes out and this is the body this is what it looks like and here's the the switch plate or ring and these are the gears this is what they look like not many teeth on them it's like two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's like eleven teeth so I guess it's pretty coarse and then this slips out and here you have your shaft and here's the screw the screw on cap for the body and there it is, all torn down. Okay. To get this back together. You take your cap again. You put it on there. You take your switch. And you get that on there. You take your gears you put them back on they're facing each other so they're like that facing each other and you put you put all this back in and you screw it down remember to take this and put it on the shaft there on that channel of the shaft I'm not gonna do that right now it's gonna take too long to get that done so I'll leave that we'll just say we did and we'll leave it at that for right now and you get these gears down like that and remember you put your little stopper there doesn't want to stay <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put my finger there 
Now you take your little poles. Remember how they go in. And this one doesn't want to cooperate, of course. So, let's try it again. Okay, it should look like that. You take your switch. You put that on top. And now you take... You switch ring and you put it like that. Now you screw this down. And you put your handle back on. It has like five raised portions here. And uh, no, four. That's four. And then you see the little grooves in there. You're gonna uh, see if you see them. Try to. You're gonna have to line those up with those grooves and just push it back in. It should go back in pretty easily. Take your stopper and spring and put that in. Take your cap at the end. Your screw-on cap and you screw that down. Actually, I'm going to leave out the spring because then it's going to push the shaft all the way out. But that's the way you're supposed to put it together. When you get this part, that clip on the shaft. But if I just put the spring right now, it's just going to shoot the shaft out. So you screw on this cap. Okay. You get your uh, your bit back in there like that. Okay. So that's how you do this. That's how you put this together. Okay, guys, that's the teardown of the Yankee Handyman number one three three H. North Brothers Division of Stanley Tools, made in USA. Okay, guys, till next time.